Roost factors for MRSA and Pseudomonas are prior isolation and hospitalization with antibiotics within the past 90 days. Hello there, farmers and friends. Mark with FarmWise. Targets of empiric community-acquired pneumonia therapy include Streptococcus pneumoniae, Haemophilus influenzae, Marxella cateralis, Legionella pneumophila, and Chlamydia pneumoniae. Legionella and Chlamydia are considered to be atypical pathogens because they're not easily detected on standard assays. Here's a quick review on antibiotic recommendations from the ATS IDSA 2019 CAP guidelines. For outpatient therapy, high dose amoxicillin, that's 1000 mg by mouth three times daily, has shown to be effective even without coverage for atypical pathogens. Doxycycline and macrolides cover common organisms, including atypicals. Monotherapy can be considered in those without comorbidities. Patients with comorbidities are at a higher risk of broader and emerging resistant organisms. Those would include patients with chronic organ disease, alcoholism, malignancy, or asplenia. Combination therapy is recommended with amoxicillin, clavulinate, or a cephalosporin such as cefiroxime or cefpodoxime, in addition to a typical coverage. Patients requiring admission are initially treated with IV antibiotics. Beta-lactams and macrolides are recommended. You'll likely see cetraxone and azithromycin. Patients with risk factors for MRSA or pseudomonas should add vancomycin and have the beta-lactam changed to piperacillin, tazobactam, or cefepime when appropriate. Did you share the farm facts? Watch another video on my page, and I hope you learned something new.